Our first question is, what happens if COVID-19 forces the president to drop out of the 2020 election? Our sources for this are an elections expert, John Fortier, with the Bipartisan Policy Center and the Republican National Committee's rules. After speaking with Fortier and going over the RNC's rules, we can verify at this point, if the president were to drop out of the race, the RNC would decide who the Republican nominee is. Also, don't forget, this isn't the first time a world leader has contracted the coronavirus. Jair Bolsonaro, the Brazilian president, and Boris Johnson, prime minister of the United Kingdom, both contracted COVID-19 and eventually recovered. Next question, if President Trump gets too sick, would Mike Pence take over? Our sources for this are the 25th Amendment to the Constitution and the George W. Bush Presidential Archives. Right off the bat, yes, Vice President Mike Pence would take over temporarily if the president got too sick. This goes back to the 25th Amendment to the Constitution, which basically says that if the president feels they can't discharge their duties as president, temporarily they can turn them over to the vice president, and when they feel they are ready to take them back over, they can resume control of the presidency. The last time this happened was during the George W. Bush presidency. Twice while President Bush got a colonoscopy, Vice President Dick Cheney took presidential powers over until President Bush came out of the procedures. Final question, the president has to quarantine, so will he miss the next presidential debate? The CDC recommends 14 days of quarantine from COVID-19, and the next debate is scheduled for October 15th. So based on the timing, that would put the next debate at 13 days from right now. So we'll have to mark this one as a question mark as to whether or not the president will take part in the next presidential debate.